Theater is a highly imaginative space, a pressure cooker with a timer, a world where personas or characters are caught in complicated situations, confronted to make difficult choices and actions. Oscar Wilde said, "Life imitates art far more than art imitates life." My feeling is, art gets its truth from life, but art tampers with the issues and problems such that they become bigger than life. Because living a life in our current world is not that easy and simple anymore. A world of information swirls around us, making all of us more bewildered than ever. As we soak up information together, think together, and dream together, we also go numb or go mad together. For me, thoughts don't come. Instead, a lot of white noise is generating inside my head. Am I earning enough money? How can I be happier? What's the role of an artist? How should I do my work? Do I challenge or comply? Must I care? Do I care? My thinking is very, very noisy. My mind is crowded. My heart is invaded. News is everywhere on a daily basis. Injustice, arrogance, oblivion, foolishness, tragedies. I can't pretend I don't feel anything. I need to think a clear thought. I've got to make choices. I decide to do it through theater. I clear out my inner closet and revisit memorable characters I have once played on stage. I work with people who inspire me: Natalie Hannah Dige, Kok Heng Luan, Gani Karim, Li Xie, Casey Lim, Ivan Heng. Together, we shake up our old friends, and we are excited to see how these stage personas can continue their search for happiness. I talk to my personas. I get lost in them too, in front of you, my audience. Because you know much better about life and its complications, my dear audience, we are all human beings, and we are all from the same planet. We are very much alike, and we are doing this together. You hold on to one end of the rope; I hold on to the other end. If you believe it, I believe it. I'm looking for a transformation tonight for you, for myself, because we go to theater to experience what we are unable or unwilling to experience in real life. I'm the performer now, so I will honor my work and try my best to live those life moments of my personas, which could possibly resemble yours or mine. I'm very fortunate to be an actor. I can live many lives. I can refine my experience during rehearsals. I can relive the most incredible life moments, show after show. With each repetition, I also get better and better. After purging these collisions in my head, I hope some kind of truth may emerge. Just remember, theater is something we make together. Every time it happens, it clears my head. It gives me a space to talk to myself. It allows me to laugh and cry. It allows me a chance to walk in somebody else's shoes. It asks the same question: What would I do if it was me up there? Uh, five years ago, I was newly married with my wife. Unfortunately, my wife, who Was a very forgetful woman. She left her favorite pot of plant unattended with stagnant water. Yeah. In the third week, I was away. The hospital called and said she was hospitalized. When I flew back, she was in the ICU. The doctor said it was a very, very mean mosquito. Yeah. A day later, the dengue hemorrhagic fever hit her. A day later, her lungs failed to function, and a day later, she died. In that moment. I felt something strike through me. It was as if, as if, I raised my head and I saw Holy Virgin Mary smiling at me.
body is also a temple of extreme pleasure. My mission is all about love. We will love them back the way they love us and give them back what they gave us. They can jail me for this act of love. Better still, sentence me to death. It makes no difference. I only have one more year to live. I will stab the needle into any passerby. I will run and stab and bite, run and stab and bite. I will hear people of all sorts running and screaming with pain. Ah! And I will tell all of them this. I love to love you, baby. It's HIV, so Out on the edge of glory And I'm hanging on a moment with you I'm on the edge I'm on the edge I'm on the edge The edge, the edge